So if you're familiar with the world of lean, you've probably heard the expression that it's a journey. Well, the expression it's a journey, I'm afraid, has uh, become a little bit trivial or trite. It's become hollowed out, sort of like the expression empowerment. Um, I have a good, a good friend, a colleague here at work, who hates the expression win-win. Uh, he hates it because it's always used uh, as a mask uh, whenever he finds himself in a win-lose um, situation. But lean really is a journey. Um, and so I, I want to articulate that the, the elements of the journey for you here today. First, you need to define um, the starting point, your starting point, like a journey. And you define your destination, where you're trying to get to. And then uh, you also have a rate of progress towards your destination. So if you're traveling to, uh, from New York to California, you have your starting point in New York, your destination is California. Uh, and you have a rate of progress, and this rate of progress uh, involves intermediate states. So you might stop in Pennsylvania, visit some friends. You might only have enough money to get as far as Indiana and settle in Indiana for a while, make some money, and then pack up again and head uh, west as far as you can go. So it is uh, California represents the ideal state, and you have these intermediary states on the way. So in the world of lean, what you do is you define your current state, you consider your ideal state, you understand your limits, you identify targeted improvement states, way stations on the way, you go there, if you set up residence, you reach a steady state at that, and you prepare your next move on your continuous journey when the time is right. And that's how lean is represented as a journey. Mm -hmm.